We just finished routing the leg. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the joint, put the leg on quickly. I'm going to take a pen and I'm going to mark around the top of where this is sticking up. What I want to do is I just want to cut the majority of this off now. We've made our dado cuts, we've done our routing. I'm not too concerned about the material that's left on there now. Strength won't really be an issue. So I'm just going to take this off now. I'll go to the bandsaw and just leave about an eighth and just cut that off so I can get rid of that excess material. The rest will just be removed with the sander. I could have done this on the chop saw, but the amount of material that's actually sitting against the fence is minimal, so I feel a little bit safer making this cut on the bandsaw. The way I'm going to attach the leg to the bench is I am going to use a screw and epoxy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a hole using a Forstner bit, it's half an inch, then I'm going to pilot it with a drill bit, screw it to the leg with epoxy, and then fill the Forstner hole with a dowel. The depth I want is just to the top of this bit. This bit is about 3 eighths of an inch tall, so that's sufficient for how deep I want it to go. So here we go. I just want to take a second to talk about the products that we're going to be using in the next step. I use GRK R4 screws. These are number 9 by 2.5 inch. They're really good quality screws. I haven't broken one yet. Hope I don't. If you break a screw when trying to attach a Maloof joint, it gets very difficult to remove. So a high quality screw is very important. I really like these ones. They work very well. I am using System 3 Quick Cure 15, so that's about a 15 minute setup time. I am using epoxy instead of glue because a Maloof joint tends to fit quite tight. If I put glue on this joint, it tends to swell the wood and it makes it very difficult to get the leg on. So, in my experience, I found it a little bit better to use epoxy. You can use glue, a lot of people do. I just prefer epoxy because it doesn't seem to swell the wood quite as much and the joint goes together much more easily. <clears throat> I'm going to start by putting the leg on as a dry fit. make sure it's nice and snug. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill the pilot hole. I'm going to make sure that my drill isn't tilted. I'm going to make sure it's nice and flat and drill the hole. I'm using a larger bit now. This bit is the same size as the screw. So I'm going to simply I just made the hole in the leg slightly larger, so now the screw will be able to freely float in the leg. So now when I attach the leg on with the screw, it's tight on the bench side and loose in the leg so it has more of a clamping effect. If the screw is tight in the leg, it could bind and not allow the leg to be sucked in by the screw. So I'm currently mixing up 20 milliliters of System 3 epoxy. I've stirred it very well. I feel like it's good to go. So what I'm going to do now, clear off all the dust. I'm going to start spreading the epoxy on the joint. I just squeeze it on, okay. Now 
Now I've got my GRK screw. Okay, nice squeeze out, which is great. Now I'm gonna quickly do the other leg and then we're gonna clamp it. I put the two legs on with epoxy and screws. Now we're gonna clamp it up. What I want to do at this point is I want to just go remove the epoxy from around the joint because I want to make sure it's closed. I want to make sure there aren't any gaps. That is one thing about a Maloof joint that I will say is it is, it is difficult to always make sure that the joint is closed because you're, you're working on two edges. You have a front and a side, and you have to make sure they're all closed up. There's no gap there. Go to the side. There's no gap there. Okay. The side. There's no gap. What I just did was I took the bench off of my worktop. I flipped it over. Because I want to make sure that the Maloof joint is closed on the top as well. I cleaned off the epoxy. It's really nice and clean. Those, uh, those legs are snug. There aren't any gaps.